There's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. That led to a touchdown, so decent sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So that and that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for Philly. 
47 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in the game. This looks like it's about to be four big plays. <laughs> On first and ten, it's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Penny. He is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. No game there, and it's going to set up second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Another try for Penny, and he is made in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stopped the play right there in the middle of the field. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Flush to his right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Ravens come up big down at their own goal line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked by Kevin Byer. Spot him at the three-yard line. Well, that were obviously backed up. Had a little bit of space from the goal line, snapping it from the three, but still trying to throw it. And yeah, exactly. If this were hindsight, this 2020 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise him and catch him off guard. Instead, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Bird sets up to throw it. going for but after going through the progressions it worked when you have plenty of people who can catch the football you don't always have to go to your primary target and sometimes that target is actually covered nice oh job my goodness what are you kidding me so with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And they're going to line up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception... To throw is Jackson. And this one incomplete. Threw down at the feet of his receiver. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you get the ball on your hands. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. <laughs> schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Now Jackson on second down. A short throw caught by Andrews. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now one yard to go on third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what his own defense is counting on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On third and one, Jackson. And he'll go right back First down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Got a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out with a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That's a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. So after the loss of the yard, they look to push forward. And that is incomplete. And he has one touchdown in his first half, the second one not to be. Right where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the third process. Right there, the guy's already scored one right. You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. The hell? And in for the Ravens touchdown. <laughs> Zay Flowers. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens have taken a two touchdown lead now. Now Tucker to add the PAT. You two are a couple of real sweethearts. What kind of child are you talking about? And the lead is up to 14. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25 yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? Are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? First down now with that clock rolling. 
Throwing his hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. This is caught inside the 15. for Philly. 55 yards. So often when we're watching a football game, we see a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Here's Hurts to throw. And the man he's getting him. And Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion. It's time for the score. Now they got it stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's you created with a play like that. And you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Hertz will throw. I can put him again, man. Damn. Fuck oh, me. Of course, he's doing a ball button. And see what the data tells us? Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, successfully. I just wondered if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think the stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time, and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. Up the middle, it's Hill. Strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Jackson on first down. Escaping the pressure running. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. They'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Steps away to his left. Hit as he throws there incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit back on their heels, but they have a brief pause. But there was some incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. On second down, here's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And one thing you always worry about when it hurts the pocket is, is he going to take off on the back of the top. The pressure is starting to close in. It's just going to be the pressure on the back. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. You have to get outside of that tap little tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half.
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's going to be incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Duke, you got to run. They're going to kill you. But Duke, you can't do it by yourself. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Second down, here's Hurts. He finds his man, Capone. That's Watkins. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. Hurts. Come on. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will take this across midfield and down the 48 yard line. Tough one there. First drive in the third quarter. Throw an interception and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of lead. And boy, it paid off. Down to about the 45. Both partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. Jackson now. The short one there caught by Likely. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. First target, first catch, and a first down. Jackson. Flushed out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Nicobe Dean in there to get him. It's a loss of five. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Jackson. And oh, this one my goodness. Too much I'll take him to the post now, Will. He did a fine job of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. 
When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well. They don't get to be there right now. Instead, in this case, time to pull the gun and knock the free. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring out the fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps it moving forward. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin the next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game. And Hicks has intercepted his third of the game. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. So we're going to see any quarterback toss back-to-back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding it for hand. Forced out, Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Maybe some indecision there on what looked to be an RPO. He wound up keeping it, but that defense right on him to strip it away. And typically when we see that type of indecision on an RPO, that means it's well defended. He had nowhere to go with it, and that allowed the defense to get to him and knock it free and make it a turnover. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and seven. They'll look to throw, but it's caught on the right side at Smith. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. That is caught. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. But first down, Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Arthur Mallet. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that part. I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. But no run back here. Fair catch. And this will come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Oh, my. Second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the cornerback's hand, and it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken the play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down on a big play there. A gain of 14 on what was a fourth and 10. Again, he dropped a throw. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. On the move past the 40. And all the way down to the 34 yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in the second half. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Second down, Swift. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you. They get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. It's making it up and four and brings up fourth down now. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now.
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know, you know exactly. Two-point conversion caught in the end zone, and that cuts the lead a bit further. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. And that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. Buying time. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. To throw is Jackson. That'll be caught by Hill. That's a room to run now. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Now it's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter what they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm giving you unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. You're not going to kill me. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I did like was the final decision to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense an extra timeout. Oh, my goodness. You see the moment it is. It's going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage left and they're playing wow. deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20. 